Hey guys, welcome back. It's Tiffany with Todd's Hauls and Things. Um, so if you are on my Instagram, you've seen I posted something about a doctor's visit today. Well, I went. They did. They said everything looks great with my stomach, and I have to go back every six months for blood work because of um, pancreatic cancer running in the family. So other than that, we are great and healed up. So thanks for all those prayers that I had gotten over the length of this because it was awful. <clears throat> but anyway, so let's jump into this Dollar Tree haul. I think this is like one of my largest um, hauls ever. I, I think this is two stores, maybe three put together over like two shopping trips. This is, wasn't all purchased today, but I, I needed most of this. Or do we ever need anything from the Dollar Tree? We just want it. So anyway, the first thing I got were these pool noodle chairs. I picked up three, nope, one, two, three, four in green and two in the orange. We have a boat trip coming up and whenever we do boat trips, we have two of them for summer schedule, one at the sandbar and then one at a kind of like a little island in the middle of nowhere type deal. So the kids can play in the water with these because we do have some stuff left over from last year, but I saw those and decided to jump on them. And then I got two beach balls, one in the green and blue, and then one in the girl color, pink and purple. And then I also picked up two of just the regular uh, floaty rings. To give the kids something to play with. Um, and the rest is just, that was all summer stuff. The rest is kind of all mixed together behind me and in front of me. So I did pick up two more of the Say, Say It Again game because I want the mouthpieces out of them. Because I had already bought the game. We haven't played it yet. But I wanted to get more mouthpieces before we played so that more than um, two people can play. And nobody has to reuse the same mouthpiece. I know we wash it, but still. This way everybody gets their own. Um, and then I picked up these three sad looking happy Easter decors. I say sad looking because like there's barely any stuffing in these things. But I saw somebody do a DIY with these that I want to try. She basically took them apart or at least opened them, restuffed them, made them really thick. And then she used fabric paint and painted them. And she covered this up completely. She did like a pink of blue and something else. And then she put a ribbon around the neck of it and made some really cute couch pillows or bed pillows i'm not sure where she had them at but so i bought three because i'm gonna try that and i'm not very good at sewing so i'm just gonna probably open up the bottom shove a whole bunch of stuffing in it and then paint it and see or probably paint it before i don't know i'll figure it out when i do a diy so if it comes out great you guys will see that diy um and then some more easter i got abby this to put in her easter basket she likes to paint and these pictures were cute and then I got the Easter sticker scene because who doesn't love stickers so I got that and then also for painting it's a unicorn and all little girls these days are obsessed with unicorns so why not feed the addiction <laughs> uh, next and I just have some stuff up here I'm grabbing I got more stuff behind me or some books that I found um, I got the Disney Infinity Toy Box Trouble. This is volume one. I already have volume four of the Disney Infinity. So we have one now. Let's see if we can find two and three. In this book, I've never seen it before. And it's The Great Census Shenanigans of 1790, Tricking the Tally Man. So I figured it'd be pretty fun to read. Um, give a little history there. Learn what a tally man is. And I found this book, A Better Man, by Leah McLaren. And it seemed like it'd be a pretty good read, so I picked it up for a dollar. Even if it's bad, it doesn't matter. Then, I found this cookbook. It is Cooking with Greek Yogurt. And something, I'm not really a huge yogurt fan, but I've heard some pretty good things about switching stuff out for yogurt. So I figured I would give it a try. And that just looks delicious on the front. And they have lots of recipes in here. Let's see. No table. Oh, here we go. Um, they have breakfast, soups, mains, sides and snacks, and desserts. 160 
well, 175 pages. So, I wonder what I can make. And then I got this sticker book. It's Lisa Frank. 90s Kids, hello. And they had some pretty cute stickers in them. There's just like five pages of stickers. And then I found this other sticker, puzzle book. And you have four puzzles and it is Animal Safari. And it has a grid with numbers on one page. Well, on multiple pages. But then if you go to the back side of the book, you find the stickers. And each sticker has a number that correlates to the chart. And you just put it on and you build a scene. So I thought this was pretty cool. Pretty excited for that. See what kind of scenes there are. And then I got some more of the Disney books. It's the same ones. The Fox and the Hound, The Lady and the Tramp, Alice in Wonderland, and The Jungle Book. Um, I will be sending these out with a package. I have two nurses in my life, and I did look up um, online. I forget the date, but Nurse Day is coming up, um, maybe in May. I think it was in May or something like that. Um, so I picked up a card for each of them. But they were really pretty, and this one has glitter on it. And then I picked up this Big Hero 6 puzzle. It's four puzzles in one, and they are 12 pieces each. Love Big Hero 6. Love it. And then I picked up some more of the plain old wood plaques, they call them. I found a star. I grabbed another heart because I bought one for Abby last time, and the hubs was like, where's mine? I want to paint. So I got him one too. And then I also found an anchor. And I think this would be really pretty on a wreath. Even if you leave it just the plain wood. If you do like a red, white, and blue. Um, not necessarily like, oh, let's go patriotic with it. But just if it blends a certain way, it won't look American flag-ish. Which that's okay too. But to make it the sailor type thing. And then my niece loves llamas. So I did get her the shaker frame. I hadn't seen those before. Just one of my stores had them. So I picked it up. And then I've seen people haul this strawberry lemonade. I figured I would give it a shot. I like lemonade. I like strawberries. So maybe I'll like it. Then I found these two new bags of chips. They are by Wise, the classic American snack. They're called Dipsy Doodles. And they are corn chips. These are the original wavy corn chips. And then there was also a barbecue wavy corn chip. So, I like corn chips. They're pretty good. I'm excited about these barbecue ones. And then I picked up three of the organizing cases by Jot. Um, I want to get into more pocket letters and embellishment box swaps and different things like that. Because I did the one for Sabrina's birthday challenge and I had a lot of fun doing it. So I figured I would stock up on some supplies and maybe get some made and then maybe find somebody to swap with. So yeah. And then my sister's kid, she has one older one and two that are five and under. So I found these and it's the doctor kit. She's a nurse and they like the fact that she goes and helps the babies because she works in a nursery at the hospital. So I got the doctor kits in the pink in the blue and it's a four piece set so you get the stethoscope the reflex checker um well two different reflex checkers and a thermometer so something fun for them to do because especially the the little one the girl she's always helping her babies so this way she can now listen to their heartbeats without stealing her mama's expensive stethoscope so and then i picked up one of each color in the um mesh tubing i don't know what i'm gonna do with it yet i've never actually used this on a wreath so i don't even know where to kind of start with adding it to a wreath they do give you some instructions so maybe i can figure it out but if not 
I'll find something to do with it. I did use this to make that candy cane whenever the candy cane wreath was out for Christmas and add the lights to it. That's about the only use I've done. I um, also got these paint sets. One is a train. The other one is a unicorn. And they never give you good colors whenever they do these sets. So this in combination with the other paint set, she should have enough colors to paint and make it really pretty instead of three colors. Um, I found this Auto Bright Streak Free Glass and Chrome Cleaner. Removes bugs and grime. I've never seen this one. So I figured I'd give it a shot. And I can also use it on my front door because it is glass. So, double whammy there. And then I found the gold um, face mask with the applicator. Helps with reducing fine lines and wrinkles. 15 minute facial therapy. I had bought that double pack. It came with the gold and it came with a charcoal from Family Dollar. And I really like this gold one. So, when I saw it just sitting there, like it was completely out of place, I went ahead and picked it up. Um, and then I got a pack of the Clorox Fragant, Fragrant, Fragansia, Fragansia, however you say it. It is the morning sky. I wanted to go ahead and try these before buying like a big pack of them. They smell really good. So hopefully they clean as good as they smell, right? Then I got some of the furniture wipes. This is the bonus 20% pack from the home store. And these are fresh lemon scent, so I can use these for my table, because it is a wooden table. So I picked that up, because I hate spray and pledge. I'd rather just wipe it and be done. And then I found these wood cutouts, and it's two of each one. You have mermaid, turtle, and dolphin. And this one is a whale, a seashell, and a um, seahorse. So I figured those would be fun to paint or use as embellishments on something. I got another black ice little tree for my car, which I need to go put in there. Then I found these new things that I've never seen. I don't, I don't even know if I watched any videos that hold them. I may have and just don't remember. These are the scented lip glosses. Uh, this one is in the blueberry. It's cute little packaging. I'm definitely going to save these little plastics. That's super cute. I can use that for something else. Sweet Cherry. And this one, I love, love the colors on this one. This is the Green Apple. That pink and bright orange and bright green just go so well together. So I got those. And then these are new for me too. And these are the Real Wood Bookmarks. And this one says, Plant Kindness, Grow Love. And it has like the little green thing hanging from like a leather strap. There we go. And this one says, be your own hero. And it has like an iridescent um, bead on it. So I thought those were super cute. They only had two um, left in the box. So I don't know if there's more to that set. Like more to the actual bookmarks or if that was it. Let me know down below. Is it just two that came out? Or are there more in this store just only had the two? Um, if you watched the last haul, I hauled some of those um, drinking water drinking bottles that everybody's been getting in all the, like, the pretty colors. The kids are too small for those to not make a mess. So I got them each one of these to put their names on for Easter. And it does have the flip top straws on them. So I'll save my sister some headache and give them these. I picked up Abby another one of these Animal Crossing um, blind bags. I don't know why I keep picking them up for her because her backpack has so much stuff on it already. She's always rotating out. She loves to hang things off her backpack. And then this store is the first one in a while because the other three that I go to are completely out. This store actually had the princess stickers so I did pick up 10 packs of those. I'm really hoping to get those books completed um, before I actually book the Disney trip. So that is my goal. And so far that is the only store that I've gone to that still had some. And they had at least 40 left. So 
as I was saying before that phone call interrupted me, um, next time I go to the doctor in that area, maybe they will still have some left and I can pick up some more to hopefully complete these books for these girls so that the princesses can autograph them. I think it's a really cool idea to have like a whole separate princess one. That's just me. I love the princesses. I got a new toilet brush, nothing exciting there. I did pick up this um, soap dispenser brush. And then I picked up two of the heads to um, change them out. That's the word I was looking for, to change them out whenever they get disgusting. So it's been a while since I've used one of those, so I figured, meh, save a little bit on washing towels to do dishes. So, and the last items that I got, it's all new to me. And let's see, it's three different name brands, I believe, yes. So the first two are by Trails Best. It is the Sweet and Spicy Barbecue Pork Jerky. I've never tried a pork jerky before, so it looked pretty interesting. And these are 0.9 ounces, uh, gluten-free, 11 grams of protein, zero grams trans fat, made in the USA. And then the other one by that name brand is the Original Beef Jerky. And then they have this other name brand. It is Johnsonville, which that's a, a regular, you know, like a big name brand or whatever. But this one is gluten-free, 10 grams of protein, and it is bacon jerky. I've never, never even heard of bacon jerky. So I'm pretty excited. I love bacon. And I think everybody in this house loves bacon. So that'll be great. And these last two are more of like spicy jerkies and they are made by Butterball. And they are 0.9 ounces as well. This one is an all natural tender jerky, tender cuts of turkey jerky, the spicy Thai seasoned. And then this one is the cracked black pepper. So pretty unique, I've never seen these before. So I figured we'd give them a try. Um, these have less protein. This is nine grams, this is eight grams. But I'm not really eating it for the protein, right? We're eating it for a good snack. There's no MSG, it's gluten free, no artificial colorings, all that good stuff. So that is everything that I have from the Dollar Tree. My biggest haul, I believe, yet. Um, I'm pretty happy with everything that I did purchase. Let me make sure. Yeah, that's everything. So, give me a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed this haul. Enjoy Dollar Tree hauls in general. And what are some things that you found that I haven't found yet? Let me know down below. I'm always looking for new stuff from the Dollar Tree because why pay more for it when you can get it for a dollar? So, I will let you guys go with that. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.